presiding over this Eucharistic celebration. As we pray for one another and for the fruitfulness of our CCBI plenary assembly, let us keep three special intentions in our mind today as we offer this Eucharist. Last night we got the news that Bishop Alphonse Pillou, SVD, Bishop Emeritus of Rorkela, passed away. Let us pray for his eternal repose. We also pray for Bishop Alvin Barreto of Sindhu Diocese, who has been admitted to the hospital for some investigations. He's okay, but we will pray for him very specially. And we pray for Bishop Gerald Lobo of Udupi Diocese, who is celebrating his birthday today. In the name, please take page number 1818. Those who are on my right side will form the first coil. The first psalm we shall chant. It is good to make music to your name, the most high. All the test in life with the murmuring sound of the heart. Your deep soul, Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. children and babes. Thank you. 
glory and honor you belong to of children and of babes, you have you found, found praise, praise, Lord.
he said in a certain city there was a judge for a while he refused but afterwards he said to himself though i need a fear god not respect man yet because of this widow keeps bothering me i will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming and the lord said here what yan right Your eminences, graces, lordships, reverend fathers, reverend sisters, reverend brothers, and my dear lay faithful in our Lord Jesus Christ. I joyfully greet each one of you as we are gathered here to celebrate Holy Mass on the occasion of the meeting of the Third Year Assembly being held here in St. John, Ukraine. In his life of school, the order of Saint Basil the Great and assumed the religious name of Josephat. We implore God's pardon for his murderers. And Saint John Paul II remarked that Saint Josephat gave his life for the great cause of church unity. The restoration of unity among all Christians is one of the principal concerns of the whole Church. In his address to the Dicastery for Promoting Christian Unity, Pope Francis affirmed that the awareness of ecumenism is such that one cannot think of a journey on the path of faith and for the unity in the Catholic Church. So that among us all the differences, all rights which distinguish us be an enrichment for all of us. The first reading taken from the third letter of St. John is all about showing love and concern for one another. It reminds us that when hospitality is extended to strangers, not only does one's face become visible, but also it provides the opportunity to work together for the truth. In the words of Pope Benedict XVI, in Deus became vulnerable. Therefore, the widow, as a silent one in society, even in our times, easily becomes care for her as a widow would be provided by a judge who observed the ancient law, the Torah, to us that God will never allow that his compassionate nature be doubted uh, to the voice of the marginalized. In the church in India, there are insisting voices of lay people and women, and women too, who asks the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. When calls us to be perfect as he is perfect, let us play this our trust in him, that he may show us his mercy as we offer these petitions to him. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Thiru Abhay Kaga Manjaru, Umad Makkalin Udaru, Andavare Umay Manjaru Kindru, Your response? Lord, hear our prayer.
ಭಾರತೀಯ ಕತೋಲಿಕ ಧರ್ಮದ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಸ್ನೇಹ ನಿಧಿಯಾಗ ದೈವಮೆ ಞಂಗಳೋಡ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ನೇತಾಕಲೆ ಅನುಗ್ರಹಕ್ಕೆ ನಮೆ ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪೌರ ಮಾರೋಳಿಯ ಪುದುನನ್ನು ಆಯನ ಬಾಕಿ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಜೀವಿಂಶೆ ಲಾಗುನ ದಿವಿಂಶ ಮಾನಿ ಯೋ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ Heavenly Father, hear the voice of your children. Accept our humble prayer. Jesus, you're the one I love. You're the one I know. You're the one who makes me strong. Spirit in my soul. From the great soul to Bread of life you give to us Bread of life for all Endless and broken for our soul Symbol of your love From the grain so tall we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body in a similar way when supper was ended in memory of me at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Yeah. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace. seminarians who have enhanced the uh, liturgical celebration today. We give you a big hand for, for you are the future of the church and we thank you and your rector and formators. I would like to thank very specially uh, His Excellency our Apostolic Nancho, Most Reverend Leopold Ujireli for presiding over the Holy Eucharist this morning and uh, for breaking the word for us in such a convincing way, beautiful way, with such clarity, uh, connecting it to the readings of the day and the memory of St. Joseph Art. We thank you, uh, Your Excellency, for reminding us of the ecumenical imperative, and especially in the church in India, uh, reminding us of uh, our uh, the need to pray for Ukraine, for peace there. He reminded us of the hospitality that should mark our life all the time. And uh, that hospitality comes from our Lord Jesus Christ, as St. John teaches us in his letter. And uh, he reminded us of uh, the need to pray always in the light of the gospel, 
but it's not only perseverance in prayer, but the parable today speaks also of justice, gender justice and equality. He said and explained the background of the parable so well. Uh, and also the needs to uh, the church, for the church in India to be fully involved in bringing God's kingdom here of justice, peace and righteousness in our land where there is so much of poverty and misery and marginalization. Uh, and he spoke of the courage that we need to have always to do this in our mission. We thank you for breaking the word so well for us and also for always being open to us with fraternal openness. Your always your disposition towards us is not one who is distant from us, but one who is with us, walking with us, in synodality, journeying with us, and uh, answering uh, so wisely all our questions and with patience. We pray for your mission in our land, uh, your both diplomatic mission and pastoral mission. I know personally that you have a pastoral heart. You love to go and visit dioceses and you like to visit parishes uh, and interact with people and come to know uh, how the life of faith which we spoke. Our Lord says, will there be faith in this world when I come again? So to build up the faith of the people. Uh, we thank you for that and your mission also in the neighboring country of Nepal. We pray and we assure you that our prayers will, there be, will, will be there for you always. And you also continue to pray for us. I know how it is difficult for you to handle uh, all the tensions in our land, in our country, in the church, in, the, uh, in, 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 in India. Uh, but you have done it so well, all the three rites. And your special solicitude for the CCPI. Thank you and be assured of our prayers. We also would like to thank the altar servers from Bhakti Bhavan and the Seminary for their very uh, zealous service. After the final hymn, uh, you are all requested to come, the members of the CCBI community are requested to come in front for a photograph after investing yourself. And uh, our sessions will start at 9 o'clock sharp. We shall stand for the best. to thank uh, first uh, um, Archbishop Ani for his kind words also uh, in canonizing the Nunzio. <laughs> I am very grateful for this occasion. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Cardinal Philip Neri, uh, for uh, allowing me to preside over this uh, Eucharist. It is a privilege and a joy for me. And I take this opportunity, first of all, to thank all of you on behalf of the Holy Father for your dedication in shepherding your uh, diocesan community. I express my appreciation. Really, uh, I feel at home with you, and I see uh, a lot of good work in the Church of India. I just have a recommendation. The today gospel asks us to pray. So let us dedicate the time in our life for prayers. Let us be faithful to the liturgy of ours and ask also our priests to do it. And uh, foster instill in our people also the desire of prayers. And finally, I want to conclude closing this. Uh, Eucharist uh, expressing on behalf of all of you, happy birthday to Bishop Dobbo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, the glory and joy of the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Freed through the intercession of Saint Josaphat, 
from present things and formed by his example of way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. So that together we all, you may possess the joys of the human land, where the Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us